So we're in the main office of the West High School and uh, people here have been so nice to me and we're going into what they call is a den room or a, what is it called Zen room um, and the lobby's so nice and they have the positivity project stuff all over the place and we're going to go into the Zen room right now and what was your name again? Hi Karen Moore. Karen Moore is going to tell us a little bit about the Zen room. So we created this room a couple of years ago um, to give uh, our students an opportunity. They just needed a minute just to relax, just to get focused, to get centered. Clear the know, brain, deep just, breathing. Yes, just to kind of take a minute and get their thoughts together and just collect themselves a little bit. The world is just different. It's pretty high pace. A lot of ex expectations with these kids. I need sometimes. to come in here. Can I come yes, in here whenever absolutely. I want? Absolutely. Are you kidding? This is the best room in the whole building. I'm Thank you. you. It is so calming and it is so comfortable. And it's just a place for kids to be able to come in and unwind for a few minutes. You Have know, you know, ever had place. like a white noise maker in here? Perfect. Yeah. So if anybody needs one of those. And yeah, yeah. We, we uh, my wife and I have been sleeping with a white noise machine for a long time. And me, I think ever since I was a teenager, and I can't sleep without having yep. some sort of, sort of noise in the background. So yep. you have a candle. Yeah, and, um, and this is a diffuser, and um, it's just very Chairs, calm pillows, yeah. decorations. We got a puzzle Puzzles. over here. Um, nice calming pieces of artwork. Those are artwork that all the kids did. All the kids mm -hmm. did this. Yep. Kids and did those, most of those, yeah. Um, it's just beautiful. And the lights are down and dim because people need that when they need some quiet. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like when you're tasting wine, you mm -hmm. need to cleanse your palate from time to time. So this is a kind of room that cleanses your, your brain palate um, excuse me if that's a bad, is it an analogy what I just did? <laughs> yes. Is that what I did? Um, I'm not very smart, so. Um, and then that we have drawing things and all that. Do you guys know how um, cool this is to it have is this amazing. room? Yeah, it's amazing. So you must be so proud. I am so proud. Right, and how long has this been this together? Is, uh, this is year, I want to say, three. This is year three. Now, do this they have it in all the schools? Uh, uh, East Campus has uh, a room, and I think a lot of the buildings have their own rooms like this. Okay. You know, for the kids. But um, yours is probably the best, right? Because you're oh, the yeah. most proud of it. I am. I'm super proud. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, my son is a uh, graduate, uh, graduated from here, and he is in his fifth year in his doctorate for neuropsychology. So I God bless him. him. Yes, and I said, "What does this room need to look like?" So he went back to his professors and said, you know, what does it need to look like? And this is what they said. Wow, they that is so amazing. Do you mind sharing your son's name on video? No, no, my son, it's Ian Moore. Because I would like to um, send a friend request to him because yeah. I would be interested in his thoughts on what we're doing here and the it's types of things remarkable. that we're sharing. He, uh, Any so feedback he has would be really meaningful to me. Yeah. He's a pretty remarkable young man. He um, works down, uh, his ultimate goal is uh, he wants to work with uh, PTSD veterans. Oh, that's amazing. So that's his ultimate goal when he gets his doctorate, when he finishes with that program. What a commendable thing to yeah. want to do with he's your life. Cool, he's a pretty cool kid. I can't wait to meet him and tell him he's yeah. going to have to do an interview as good or better than his yeah. mom, and that's going to be hard, <laughs> right? You're raising the bar here. <laughs> Young man. Is there really is. is there anything else you can share? Like what I would like to do as a follow up to this is I'd like to talk to a student that uses this room if they're comfortable with it. And um, Kat, have you ever zened? Have you ever been in here? Have you ever used this room? Come on in here for a second. Well, she's gonna. What is your name again? My name is Karen Moore. Karen is gonna try to get me to do this right now and not wait for a follow up. All the positive things yeah. that happen here All in the stuff. school. Yeah. So he, I shared this room with him, and he wanted to know if there was a student that had come in to use this room and what it meant to you to have this here. Oh, it's a safe place to be when you need a place to be by yourself when you're at school and you can't go home. You know, being a student sometimes, you know, like you get anxiety and stuff. And this is a good place to go when you need a, you know, place to be alone and 
you know, regrow your... Do you mind strength. sharing your name again? Katerina. Katerina, you're beautiful. Thank you. And um, uh, it's always um, surprising whenever you talk to somebody that is so beautiful for them to um, admit that they're, they have issues and they struggle. Oh. Definitely no. I have you would because when I was when I was young, I got all my family's bad genes. I lost my hair. I had acne. I, my teeth were a mess. They were crooked, and I didn't. I never fed uh, fit in with any group. So um, there were there, the TV shows are right. The movies are right. Breakfast Club is right. There's the jocks and there's the. The popular people and there's the cast outs and what I was lucky enough is I ended up being friends with some really smart people and it's probably the equivalent of the nerds right but our nerd team was so unique because I had a home full of alcohol so we would have people over our house all the time and we became the partying nerds <laughs> Okay. And I don't recommend that. I don't condone it because I had to stop drinking when I was 25 years old because I was going to die if I didn't. So I'm a recovering alcoholic. I suffer from depression. And that's the reason why this room is really important to me personally and to tell the people in Grand Blank and everywhere else how awesome Grand Blank schools are. Yeah, did you? It's important. So, give if you don't mind, with, and you don't have to get into super detail, just explain what anxiety feels like to you, and then tell us what coming into a room like this does for that feeling, to help that feeling better. And it doesn't... It, well, I'm, yes, I'm comfortable, but I have to think about what you said. I mean, it, here's, I'll explain what anxiety feels like to me. I have trouble breathing. Yeah. I forget to breathe. Yeah. On the phone. Thank you. I will forget to breathe. So I will I will find myself not breathing and um, I have to force my myself to take deep breaths. And then my brain starts racing about things that it shouldn't be racing about. It starts racing about what other people are thinking of me and a whole bunch of other things that I know aren't yeah. true. Yep. So what, I mean, you don't have to share anything about what you, but what kind of feelings do you have? I, I do relate to actually what you just said, but it's, it's, it's like, um, um, my heart rate, um, heart rate escalates. It's very, very, it's been like that all day. Today. I forgot that. I yeah, should have said that too. Yeah. That's the whole reason I went to the Zen room today because it was, it was at like one twenty, and that's not. Um, you know, it's just, you know, there's no such thing as a normal teenager. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh God. Oh. So you, your heart, your heart beats really fast. Yeah, and it's really hard to focus on things around you or even but, get work done. That is, that is a really important thing. So when you walk into a room like this, mm -hmm. what happens to you? By yourself, you're able to, you know, focus on, you know, mindfulness and, you know, focus on what's around you and, you know, mellow yourself out because you're not in a room around people and you're by yourself and there's a puzzle over here and there's stuff to draw with and there's you can relax or take a nap and it really helps you know so your heart rate will calm down yes. it will help clear your mind and then you feel like you're ready to take on the rest of the day yeah that's awesome. You do know how brave you are. Thank you. And you did an amazing job and you're going to help so many people. And Cherish Grand Blank is part of a company called Cherish Local, which owns Cherish Michigan and a whole bunch of other Cherish states and cities. So what we're going to create here in Grand Blank is going to be replicated across the country. And I encourage you to go onto Facebook and LinkedIn because I started sharing my story last month about my battle with depression. Yeah. And so many people in the community have risen up to give me support. And I want you to follow it because you are now part of my story. Thank you, I will. And I'm gonna be posting this on a lot of different places. Okay. And you're gonna get a lot of positive comments. Uh, my best photographer's name is Dalen Dalson. She is a senior here. And she just took the most amazing photo I've ever seen Friday night of Ty Rogers 
a 10th grader at the school making a dunk against powers. Oh, that's awesome. And it's all on my site. I take all the photos for uh, Grand Blank Hockey and basketball, and I'm going to be covering baseball and football and as many other sports as I possibly can. Yeah. So thank you again for being You're part welcome, of my story. And thank you for having me here.